So in this tutorial we're going to talk about how to disable the game provided force feedback and enable your own uh, custom force feedback or you know our, our alternative to the game's force feedback. So we're going to do, uh, we're already in our factor 2, I've already ran a few laps. Uh, I'm just going to move my mouse down to the bottom of the screen because I've uh, enabled the uh, sim commander's on-screen display. And I'll get this uh, little red bar. And when I click, I get the, uh, the uh, on-screen display. I can go into the output mixer, expand the uh, AccuForce steering wheel section, and we'll see by default when well, the game's force feedback is on. We're going to go ahead and disable that, and the AccuForce will now disregard the game provided force feedback. Um, we're going to scroll down and enable <clears throat> the steering feedback foundation and the road bumps effect. Um, now that's really <clears throat> all you need to do to uh, switch from game force feedback to the alternative you know, you know, physics driven uh, feedback that uh, we offer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and configure this though the, uh, uh, the way that I prefer mine. Uh, so we're going to uh, add another effect. Down here. And we'll add front suspension bumps as well. Now we need to make sure that we uh, set the intensity of this effect once we've added it. Set it to 100%. Um, and I don't want uh, the entirety of road bumps plus front suspension bumps, so I'm going to expand the road bumps effect here. Reduce the bump contribution to nothing, but I want to get that background road rumble. Rumble. It's a you know the higher the higher frequency vibratory road surface related things that occur in your steering wheel that are just missing in most games. Um, so set that, and most importantly, <clears throat> um, we need to auto-tune this setup. So I've already driven some laps, as I mentioned earlier. We're going to go to the output tuning wizard, and we're going to create these effect settings from recorded lap telemetry. Next, and I'm only going to modify the steering wheel, not the same way at this time. And next. We'll select the game we're in, R Factor 2, and we'll pick a lap. Usually, best to pick your fastest lap. And select a template here. For the wizard selecting intelligent peaks, and we'll accept the defaults and hit finish. <clears throat> and we'll see that the intensity is automatically set on the steering feedback foundation effect. So at this point, we can. Uh, and close out of here and drive and uh, have an entirely different uh, experience than the uh, game provided force feedback that's uh, automatically tuned not to clip.